wild dogs behind them. Get some coffee. And you hit him in the rear and grab a little gear still oh. pulling to victory lane. He said, boy, you do you know how it feels to run for the lead? Meet me underneath the grant or underneath the flag stand at the end of this feature to present your trophy. Peyton Wasman, meet me under the flag stand after this race. All right, folks, 20 laps is the distance. It's time for a feature racing. Green flag is in the air for the Tri State Late Model. The Tri State Late Model Series under green early tonight here at the Rapid Speedway. A little bit of contact through turn two as there was a little bit of a log jam, but everybody's through okay. The 80 car of Kroger going around at the bottom of turn number two, and that will bring the caution out. Jeff Kroger out of Canton in the number 80, bringing out caution number one here on lap number one of the Tri State Late Model A feature. Head flag man Cody Johnson at the ready as that 1B of Borkowski is hustling to get to the back of the line before we go green flag race. And again, green is in the air for the Tri-State late models. And the second burst, same as the first early on. It is the 101 of Ben Sukup right off the pole. Your early race leader, Nate Bayanoff, getting inside of Nick Bayanoff, looking for that second spot. The 51 of Rowdy down low. The number one of Nick up top. Nick Bayanoff will hang on to the second spot for the time being. The 76 of Troy Nordoff running in fourth. He'll get a challenge from the 22 of Gary Brown Jr. Gary Brown Jr. as Troy Nordoff goes off the track in turn number three. The 76 straight off the track. And we'll see if Nordoff can read join the pack and looks like he's dead and he's got that 76 still moving Nick Bayanov in the number one taking a peek for the lead through the turns of the 101 of Sukup Roy Nordoff will come to a stop and bring the caution flag out on the speedway caution will come out of flat right rear in the 76 of uh, Troy Nordoff Once again, Ben Sukup in the 101 machine out of Norfolk, Nebraska. He is your race leader. Bayenhoff and Bayenhoff behind him as the green flag comes out once again. Sukup with the early race lead. Nate Bayenhoff will look for the advantage of the high line in the number 51 around the number one of Nick Bayenhoff. As now the W2 machine off the track in turn number three. Looks like he's going to try to rejoin the field after that. And it looks like he will. The W2 and Brad both back on the track at the back of the pack. And we thank Brad for keeping us green flag racing. Nate Bayanoff has taken second from Nick Bayanoff. Nick Bayanoff running in that third spot now. The 101 of Ben Sukup, your race leader. Sukup with the race lead. Nate Bayanoff is charging in that number 51 machine. Nick Bayanoff in third in the number one. Nick Meyer in fourth position. And Brown in the number one. Jordan Heinemann. And John Hopert to the inside of Blair Nordum. Had a battle for seventh position on the track as Hopert looking to get underneath Nordum. Nate Bayanoff in the number one. On the 101 of Ben Sita. Here on the Rapid Speedway, the Tri State Race Series. Presented by HH Mobile Homes of Sioux Falls. The 101 of Ben Sukup, your race leader. Nate Bayanoff in the 51. Nick Bayanoff in the number one. The 14 of Quentin Myers. Single file for the time being as Bayanoff looking for a charge on that 101 of Sika. Jordan Hyman working on the 22 of Gary Brown Jr. now for the track as Hyman takes a peek down low and he likes what he sees. The 38 of Jordan Hyman to the good side of the 22 of Gary Brown Jr. down the back stretch. Off of the turn number three and Brown 
Jr. is able to hold on to that for the time being. Hyman with the wheel. The Brown Jr. Turn number four, Gary Brown Jr. is still holding on to that fifth spot. The best battle for position on the track right now. Here comes Nate Bionoff making a move for the race lead. Bionoff dips at 51 down low at the halfway mark. The 101 of Ben Seacup working his way into the last of the Larson right in front of him. And Nate Bionoff and Nick Bionoff both gaining now on that 101. Seacup will take the low line to the inside of Larson. Nate Bionoff will go right through the middle. Nate Bionoff working on that 101 of Ben Seacup for the race lead. As Bionoff is trying to take him on the high side in the number 51. Seacup will drift up the track to block down the back stretch. Off into turn number three. Off of three. Through the middle of three. Four Bionoff is here again. Bionoff side by side with Sukup. Sukup pulls off once again. And Sukup holding on to that. Four mile traffic now is the one B of Wartowski in the way. They get around Wartowski. Bionoff dipping down low. The 101 of Sukup on top. Bionoff has the charge this time. They Bionoff, but Sukup still too strong on the top side of turn number four. Down the front stretch off the ball. Still Ben Seacup in the 101 and Nate Bionoff. Rowdy is putting up a charge in that 51. As we exit turn three through the middle of three and four, into four and off of four. Bionoff is there. They're neck and neck. Neck and neck at the line, but the 101 of Seacup still playing as the leader. Data. Nate Bionoff with the move on the back stretch and he is gaining with that race lead. And Bionoff will clear Sukup with the slider in turn number four. Nate Bionoff for the race lead. Sukup looking to come back at the 101 and turns one and two. Sukup nips down low. Bionoff with the high line, able to move clean in the 51. Nate Bionoff, your race leader, Ben Sukup in second spot. Nick Bionoff in third position, number one. Sukup. On the high side this time, Bob. High off for the lead in the 51. Seat the high side in the 101. They're side by side for the race lead again. Off in a turn number three through the middle of three and four. Into four and over four. And it's two up in the 101. In the 101 taking the race lead back. As we head into lap traffic, a great battle going on between Ben Sukup and Nate Bionoff. Sukup able to get a little bit of breathing room now in that 101, but lap traffic is present, and now Nick Bionoff will win the mix in the number one. Nate Bionoff back to the race lead around the top side of Sukup. Nate Bionoff leaving the traffic now throws in front of him, and Sukup directly on his tail. Nate Bionoff in the 51 will run low, your race leader. Sukup looking to get a little lower in that 101. White flag is out. It's Nate Bionoff, Ben Sukup, Nick Bionoff, your top three on the track. Lab traffic is going to figure in here tonight. Down the back stretch, Nate Bionoff, your race leader, with Sukup right on his tail. It will come down to the final turn here, folks, with lap traffic in front of them. The winner, the 51, Nate Bionoff. Old Rowdy brings it home tonight. Tri-State Late Model Series A feature is Old Rowdy, Nate Bionoff, your A feature winner. Nate going to give the left side some love and pull into victory lane, the Pizza Ranch victory lane, as he'll park that 51 machine. Great race between Nate Bionhoff and Ben Sukup. Nick Bionhoff getting in right at the end as uh, lap traffic figured in, and uh, Nick Bionhoff was close to making a move in the number one as well. Great race back and forth between Bionhoff and Sukup. When it's all said and done, Nate Bionhoff brings it home here tonight and parks that 51 machine in Pizza Ranch Victory Lane. Here he is, climbing out of the car, your A feature winner, the 51 of Nate Bionhoff.
Well, Rowdy picks it up here tonight, and uh, we'll see if uh, Joel Viss can make his way uh, through the crowd down there at Pizza Ranch Victory Lane and uh, get some comments from tonight's winner. All right, Jay Kelly, we're down here in Pizza Ranch Victory Lane. Nader buying off Rowdy in Victory Lane. Rowdy, first off, you're a better race car driver than you are a volleyball player. I won't disagree with you there. We had the uh, opportunity to uh, be in a charity volleyball tournament with each other this past weekend, so it was great. Here comes brother Nick. View of the house there, right there in that third spot. He got to watch it go. Nate, let's talk about Nick a little bit on there. Nick picked up the win a couple weeks ago. Here comes some more. Congratulations, bud. Ben Sug up here giving him a congratulations. Nate, your car wasn't working a few weeks ago. Nick's was. He made it to victory lane. You made some changes to your car. You and Nick got together. You made some changes to this race car. You came out. You did some testing here, and it definitely worked. Yeah, I can't thank him him and Don Gerritsen enough to help me get this thing back on back on track, back where it used to be. So, no, a lot of big thanks to Nick. I mean, I I couldn't have done it with, without their help. So, Well, Nader, let's talk about uh, you running in that second spot. First, you had to get by Nick to get in that second spot. Then you start running down Ben. Ben gets into lap traffic. You could go high, you could go low. The car was really working for you. What were you thinking when you had to get up there and get side by side? It got awfully close. You know, Ben's always wanted to just race you as hard as, as, hard as ever. I mean, he's, he's a very good race car driver. He raced me super clean tonight. I enjoy that. I mean, that's, that's the best thing. We can go home and pound a couple dents and, and, and race like that. It's so much fun. Well, bud, not only did you pick up the feature win here tonight, McCarty Motors here in Rock Rapids, $150 extra bonus here for you for taking home that. So a little bit of extra money in your pocket. You got lots of family, lots of friends here. Congratulations, bud. Yep, thanks, McCarty Motors. Thanks, everybody, all the fans that come down. It's, it's great to put on a, a, sh a show for the hometown. So thank you, everybody, for coming down on a, on a Tuesday night. Rowdy Nabinehoff, your late model feature winner.